Hey, hey, hey! What's going on, guys? Chevers are here, back again. We're going to be doing Colossus right here, right now. This is one of my all-time favorite maps for Team Snipers. Um, if you didn't know, back in 2005, between 2005 and 2007, when Halo 2 was on the MLG Pro circuit, they actually had Team Snipers as a competitive game type, and it was the only time that they ever had a Team Snipers uh, game type as a competitive game type. Um, and it was only on this map. They, I, I can't remember if they had one on Sanctuary, but I remember just this map always appearing with um, Team Snipers. So, um, this map looks bigger than it actually is. It's good for Team Snipers. Like I said, it's the best for Team Snipers. Um, it's also good for one flag, uh, two flag, uh, maybe some bomb. Slayer is good. Uh, but over here on both sides of the map, uh, this map is uh, very symmetrical. Both sides of the map, there's a BR in the base. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on each base. Uh, I think I'm going to have to sneeze here in a second. Hopefully not. We'll see. Um, but, you know, there's a kneeler. There is a plaza pill. So there's a bunch of stuff on each of the bases. There's a shotgun right here. Um, you know, like I said, on each big map, there's just stuff crawling in the bases. Plasma grenades everywhere. Um, if you did, and then uh, there's these explodable boxes that are everywhere. Some are empty, some are not. So if you see anybody near them, it takes about two, three shots, depending on what gun you're using, to blow it up and uh, get an easy kill. Um, there are a bunch of jumps on this map. Uh, trying to remember if I remember them. But uh, you got the bridge connecting both of the bases. You can just go over here and you're easily onto the other base. Uh, they're symmetrical, so everything you see on this base is going to be on the other base, like I said. Uh, let's see here. Moving on over to the control point of the map. You're, you've got so many different options. You could go over here uh, to get to the main central point of the map, where the boxes are dropped. You can actually jump on this thing and then jump up here. Uh, you know, Maybe get a back smack, just surprise your enemies, because... Uh, I don't know, maybe they, they don't think that you know how to do that jump. But, uh, in this window here, you can pretty much see everything. Get a good point of view. Uh, plasma rifles right there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, not a lot of power weapons on this map, I want to say. We've got a shotgun here, so there's two shotguns on this map. Make that three, because there's one on the blue base as well. I believe there's there's a sniper up here. I could be wrong. Yeah, there's a beam rifle right up here at top. Um, so, yeah. So, and then there's no there's no really point you go on the other base, because, like I said, everything's symmetrical. Uh, needler. This map, there's a lot of weapons laying around, so I might miss something. You could drop down the hole where these things, uh, the explodable boxes drop. Uh, Magnum here. Um, I believe you could do this. Let me show you something here, if I remember how to do it. You could actually get up here, and then I think you could jump on the window here. Uh, I failed. But I jumped on this one. Yeah, you can actually get on that one, and uh, yeah, let's say you have a sniper or whatever, that'd be really good. Uh, down here, there's an overshield. Uh, comes up every minute, just like the overshield on Beaver Creek and, you know, junk. Uh, plaza pistols down here, a couple plaza grenades on each side. And then the best part of this map is the lift right here, the pretty purple lift. We've got frag grenades here, frag grenades there. It is just an awesome lift, and it is very. It is very sensitive. It is a very sensitive lift. Um, it, it is a like one of the most interesting lifts in all of Halo because you can literally control everything about this lift. Uh, sometimes you know lifts will like take you uh, somewhere no matter what, but you can just you can jump at the same time that's lifting you to get a better height advantage to get on the uh, beam rifle uh, area. You can actually jump up here and you know back up a little bit and go a little left, you can go a little right. And also if you come from this angle, you can jump on one of these uh, pillars here. You can actually just keep on jumping, you know, trip sniping, all that stuff. Just keep on bouncing the lift, which is one of my favorite things to do back. Uh, let's say you grab overshield and you can do this for a little bit. You know, it'd take like two, three shots for somebody to kill you. And uh, honestly, I never really died too much when I did this. Um, oh, oh, another great game type for this was Rockets. I remember Rockets being played on this a uh, lot. That's what I did this a lot on. I just jumped, kept jumping. They could not hit me with Rockets at all. They would have to go, come up in the slip and try to melee me, and I just shot a bunch of Rockets, infinite ammo. It was just freaking awesome. Um, honestly, that is actually it. 
like I said, there's not too much about this map. There's just a lot of doors, a lot of spaces for you to go. Um, it's really good for Team Snipers, um, which is why there really isn't you know, too much to this map. Uh, I thought there were rockets on this map, but I could be mistaken. There's overshield and beam rifle and shotgun thing around. I, I don't know. I thought there were rockets on this map, but like I said, I could be mistaken. I could just be remembering playing uh, Team Rockets on this map back in the good old days. Um, I thought they would be right here before this lift. Uh, there's a beam rifle right there. Yeah, because if there were rockets on the map, they'd be somewhere in the middle of the map, like right here, or right where the overshield is, or right before the lift, or actually at the top of the lift. So I don't think there are rockets on this map. I played this map uh, um, recently, and nobody had rockets. So yeah, I don't think there's uh, default rockets on here. So yeah, you've got um, you, know, you got the bridge that connects. You've got BRs on both the sides of the map, shotguns on both sides of the map, kneelers, plaza pistols, uh, shotgun down here, beam rifle up here, overshield down there. So it's really about controlling this top of the uh, map right here. You've got a little bit of cover. Um, like I said, this is the only sniper on the map, so it's not like you're going to get blamed or something. So if you take a couple shots, you just back down. Nobody can really shoot you. These pillars are pretty wide and big. Um, the setup on this map would be having your beam rifle guy set up here. One guy in that window, one guy in that window, and maybe a guy roaming around somewhere where the shotgun spawns below this little platform. Um, Callouts. Not really any calls. You could call this uh, beam rifle, you know, red window, blue window, blue uh, blue bridge, red bridge, uh, red, you know, whatever, a uh, main bridge. You know, you could call it whatever. It's not really a competitive map, but uh, you can make call outs as you go. And that's about it. This is Colossus. It is an awesome map. Uh, very simple. As, as crazy as it looks, it is actually a very simple map. And, um, you know, you're not going to get lost in it. Just make sure you control the overshield, and when you get the overshield, come back up here, look for the beam rifle, and if it's not up, then go crazy with your overshield and go roam around and kill people. Um, but that's it. I'll be moving on to the next map, and I hope you guys are enjoying this map guide, and I will see you in the next video.